Hi, I'm Fernando Pereira from UFMG, and today we shall talk about two other kinds of program slices, dynamic and forward. That's just a quick detour, so that you will know about them. In the last class, we talked about static slices. Those slices did not depend on the execution of the program. However, it's also possible to talk about dynamic slices. A dynamic slice regarding a program statement and some program input is a subset of the instructions executed by the program when it receives that input. The subset determines the value of the statement of our slice criterion. Perhaps you can try to answer the questions on the right before we move on so that you can understand what I'm talking about. Let's clarify the definition of dynamic slices with an example. Consider again the assignment pointer max r equals max down here in the, the program. Imagine that our function receives n equals 1 and v of 0 equals to slash 0. Which other statements in this program would, under these circumstances, contribute to the value assigned to pointer max r? Here you have the instructions in both phase. Notice that we do not enter the innermost loop right here. So the body of the loop does not contribute to our slice. Execution also does not enter the if statement right here. And so we can remove quite a number of instructions from our program using this dynamic slice. There are several tools that can be used to compute dynamic slices. If you are curious about some of them, I recommend CFG Green. It builds a dynamic view of uh, the program CFG by analyzing the execution of that program using Val Green. Another interesting form of slicing is called forward slicing. That's not a notion related to dynamic slicing. Now I'm talking about something else. If you remember the last class, a slice is formed by finding backward dependencies. If we consider forward dependencies, what would we get? Notice that this is a static notion. We are not talking about program execution anymore. For instance, consider our example. What are the other program statements that can be influenced by the assignment of 0 to max? If you want, you can stop the video and try to find um, these forward slice. Here they are in turquoise. We start traversing the dependence graph at label 2, right here. And then those other nodes, colored, are the nodes that we reach in this reversal. If we project them onto the source code, that's the subset of the program that we would get. Question, is the subset executable? Is it compilable? What do you think? This code's not actually compilable. For instance, Variable len in this example would be used without being defined. Nevertheless, a forward slice is useful for many things. For instance, it's very useful in tainted flow analysis to try to limit the part of the program that we should consider when we are inspecting uh, the program look, looking for vulnerabilities. And with this, I finish talking about the two notions, dynamic and forward slice. In the next class, we start talking about how we can compute a static backward program slice.